Hi, I'm Daniel Zangle with Regenitech here with Don Lipscomb. And we're gonna be talking real quick about platelet-rich plasma injections for gluteal tendinopathy. Uh, so this is a tendinopathy that occurs in the gluteus maximus or gluteus minimus. Um, and it's, it's fairly common. You're gonna see this in a, a decent percentage of the adult United States population. And uh, as you can imagine, this is a very painful place to get tendinopathy. If you're gonna feel pain every time you're sitting down, uh, that's gonna severely impact your quality of life. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it's been compared in, in terms of pain to uh, having uh, severe hip osteoarthritis, which again, as we know, is, is also very uncomfortable for people. So um, the common approaches to resolving uh, gluteal tendinopathy include physical therapy. So that's when they're gonna be doing some kind of eccentric or con concentric uh, exercise to try to resolve the issue. Um, and, and that I'm sure can work for many patients. Uh, another common approach is to deliver corticosteroid injections, uh, which we know have some negative long-term side effects. Uh, so researchers are interested to see if there's other options out there. Mm -hmm. um, and now with this new sort of emerging field of biologics, uh, a lot of orthopedics and, and other medical professionals are looking towards platelet-rich plasma therapy injections to help with gluteal tendinopathy. Um, so Don is gonna be talking a bit about a study that does exactly this. Uh, Don, can you tell us a little bit about uh, th this study? Yeah, so um, in this study we're examining um, the effectiveness of PRP versus uh, glucocorticoid injection. So glucocorticoids are corticosteroids that mimic cortisol, and this uh, is made in the adrenal cortex of the brain. Uh, cortisol helps to regulate metabolism, and it also is known as the stress hormone. Mm -hmm. So it lets um, it helps your body respond to stressors. Okay. Um, so obviously, gluco or cortic corticosteroid treatments are the primary uh, treatment for um, this tendinopathy beyond just physical therapy and mm. eccentric exercises, etc. Um, so in this study. Uh, the authors compared PRP to glucocorticoid injections. Um, so PRP, or platelet-rich plasma um, injections, are highly concentrated mixtures of platelets and growth factors that is produced by separating out the patient's own blood in a centrifuge um, and then uh, injecting it into the site of the tendinopathy. Um, so for this study, 80 patients were randomly administered either a single injection into the tendinopathy site of PRP or glucocorticoids uh, with neither the patients nor the physicians okay. knowing who had gotten which. It's so truly double blind. It's truly double blind. Okay. Um, at 12 weeks, uh, the patients were re-examined and there was actually a statistically significant improvement in the group that had received the PRP injection over the glucocorticoid. Wow. And at this point, this is about the time that the the uh, steroid injections are kind of wearing off. By 12 weeks. By 12 weeks, Right, for yeah. many patients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the researchers actually hypothesized that the growth factors um, found in the PRP actually will promote healing of the tendon. And this is done by activating and recruiting new cells to the injured tendon, um, as well as new collagen production in order to rebuild that scaffolding uh, and a restructuring of the blood supply that's so thought to uh, cause the chronic debilitating pain when you have this overgrowth of blood vessels mm -hmm. caused by uh, constant stress and the micro tears and the tendon. Um, your body wants to heal it, so it's producing all these new blood vessels to try right. to get the growth factors and platelets that your body's producing there. However, they're just not getting there, mm -hmm. and you end up just with overactive nerves caused by this new blood flow. Okay. Um, overgrowth of blood vessels. And, and this can contribute to the pain that these patients experience. Exactly. Okay. And, and in this study, the results were in favor of PRP? They were. Okay. It was a statistically significant increase. Um, and so this is because the corticosteroids, they're only just masking the pain by providing a temporary relief and uh, reducing the inflammation right. to the site. Um, however, it's been shown that patients will sometimes overuse these newly um, newfound like freedom and flexibility 
and because they don't have pain anymore. After they've received the corticosteroid. Exactly. Okay. So they might be causing a lot more damage due to overuse. Interesting. Um, versus if they had still, you know, felt the pain, but it was a small, small manageable incremental healing. Right, right. You know? Yeah, and, and 12 weeks, I mean, although that's definitely not short term, I, I still think it's impressive that at that point, Point, they're seeing better results with the PRP because I know corticosteroid injections are so commonly used because it is it is seen as a short term effective means of pain relief. But if we're seeing a study now where PRP is showing uh, the patients that receive PRP are having greater pain relief by even twelve weeks, never mind if they do a three month, six month, twelve month follow up like we've seen in many exactly. studies. Exactly, this may suggest that platelet rich plasma therapy might not just be more effective in a long-term sense, but might also be effective as a short-term uh, means of pain relief when compared to corticosteroid injections. Exactly, and it should be noted too that there were 80 patients in this study, and for 80 patients, um, that's 40 in each group, to actually follow up after 12 weeks, right. along with all the incremental uh, results, even though you know there could have been more patients, it's extremely difficult right. to actually recruit people back for more clinical lab work. Right, yeah. So, I mean, and the numbers don't lie. It was, the, the group was large enough for it to be a statistically significant improvement. Right. Okay, Don, well, thank you. Uh, we're gonna probably have one more video on PRP coming up in just a few minutes, so we'll be right back.